that's a that's a different intro. Yeah, oh, you 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 you, you, you know me and loud music. I know you love loud. You know me and loud music in my ears early in the morning. I know. I know. Here you go. Welcome everyone to Cisco Kids live restaurant product reviews. I'm Jay Ashton, your host, right there, and that is the legend Pie Man. The legend that never was. The I'm legend. just drinking. You just drink it. You know what? Too, we gotta, I'm just before we coffee. start, grab your I'm coffee mug. Coffee. Yeah, grab your coffee mug. I'm gonna start by asking you to turn almost, on the music, like always. Yes. You almost, you almost hold the coffee cup properly, like chefs hold coffee cups. The reason I'm holding this coffee cup oh, this no. way is because there's branding on the side, and I'm respectful to my sponsors. Hey, hey, why don't I have give you a cup of my SVK? Network cup. I should send you. Why don't you send me an SVK? Yes, there is branding on the side of this cup, and I and I would like to keep this strictly professional, my friend. That's how chefs hold their cups. Like you That's did. nice. That's you know, there's a chef way of holding a coffee mug. I found out the other day. Halfway to your head? What? Oh, sorry. I don't know. I don't know, no, Jay. I don't know. They hold the cup. <laughs> yeah. All right. They hold the cup, okay. right? They they hold it like this. Yeah. They hold it like this. They yeah. hold it like this. Like this. See, because we can know. take the heat of the cup. We don't need a yeah. whimsy handle. We can take right. the heat. That's yeah. you know maybe, maybe younger chefs but they go handle, but maybe the younger kids and their fancy macchiatos. Honestly, well, Jay, thanks for having us here today. I'll let you do your spiel. No, no, no. I don't want to cut. I don't. I don't want. I don't want to cut in front of you here. Well, okay. So first of all, so thank you again, everyone that's going to be watching this today or watch this live on YouTube, Spotify, LinkedIn, everywhere else. Just Google it. You will see restaurant product reviews out there everywhere. Now, on this show, which is so cool, Chef Point, you didn't cheat or have any of that pie before, have you? You know, I can't cheat because these pies are all intact. So, you know, I didn't cheat. <laughs> so, <Check it. laughs> this one I said, which I don't. I don't, don't, I don't cheat. Oh. Chef Point has a rating skill good, great, or well, well being over the top, uh, good being it's a good product. And great going, you know what? This is a great product, right? And then he throws the odd thing in there and messes me up. And if it's so, a wow, I usually just finish the whole thing in, in front of his face. But, for five minutes watching him eat. Which, which, which so, I have done in the past. Uh, yes, yes. But Jay, thank you for having me. This is the first one of the year. So happy new year and happy lunar new year for everybody celebrating that this weekend. Uh, so I am Chef Wan here at uh, Ocean Mama Seafood, culinary director here, and also sponsor chair for Junior Culinary Team Canada. Thank you for Cisco for being a sponsor of the team. Hence why we love to do these things to give back to some of our sponsors uh, and other beautiful brands that Canada has to offer. As, we, as Vanna White would do, today here we are testing Chef Pierre pies. These are actually made from the Sara Lee brand, uh, brokered by our friendly neighborhood C.W. Shasky. You might know C.W. Shasky from such friendly products like Tabasco, Esca, and uh, Patax. So, same, same broker does these lovely things in the East Coast um, and some in the West, of course. So, Chef Pierre. So, as Jay likes to know, of course, we go through the products and we talk about the packaging and everything. And what we're, of course, going to be talking about all this month is inflation of food costs. Jay, please interrupt me if I'm talking out of turn no. here. No, but you're all so Chef Pierre's products, I would, and I like to do some diving into ingredient decks and stuff, which I was very happy to see. It's mostly fruit, right? So we're going to try some pre-baked products, and then they have three raw ones for you to bake yourself in the retail and food service world. Some of them are pre-sliced, which we'll talk about. Some of them are not. Uh, Packaging-wise, loved it. There was no issues with packaging. They came in one piece, easy to open up. Most of them were saran wrapped on the inside which protects them as well as you. It is at least at the end of the day a food product. Uh, the raw ones didn't, wasn't uh, sealed on the inside, but that's okay. It's raw, you're gonna bake it anyway, except for this massive Chef Pierre fruit pie. This is this thing is massive, look at this. It's, it's double the size. It's is double the size pie? of the other pies. Yeah, there's one pie. It's double size of the other pies. You, you'll you see that soon. This was a raw product, so I had to bake it. So they're just cooling off a little bit so I don't burn the crap out of my mouth. So these were the raw ones, and then we have the baked ones. So we're going to start with these, if that's okay. We have the famous Chef Pierre pumpkin pie. I'm actually going to save this for last because I have a deep, a insanely. Pie, I, I I am a deep pumpkin pie man. I love me some pumpkin pie. So uh, we have blueberry, pecan, apple pie. 
But before we get into that, I want to talk about some ingredient deck stuff because um, I actually do enjoy the ingredient deck in here because mostly, you know, so if, if you know the rules of the rules of the game, ingredient decks, what the first ingredient is, is the most product in the actual product. So this one starts with blueberries. Good. It's a blueberry pie. You, you don't have crap fillings in there, right? Blueberry is the first ingredient. And what else I, I like to uh, see of this, there's a little bit of corn syrup, of course, in there, but it's mostly a white grape juice, like uh, concentrate. So instead of like the fructose and all the naturally, again, at the end of the day, those are naturally derivatives from fruits and stuff like that, but they actually use in all their prize white grape fruit concentrate instead of sugars and stuff like that, right? Mostly. There is, of course, sugar in here. And then when we get to the raw products, you'll see I baked them as they say. But of course, I would do an egg wash and maybe some sugar on it as well. But uh, that's just my personal opinion to elevate that because you see the baked products as well come out like this. They're baked, but they're not cut, of course, because they got to cut them. So, Jay, what, what do you want to start with? I'm going to start with pecan. I don't know. Oh, do you, you, do you have my... samples? Do you have samples or no? We didn't. We got to talk about that with Ryan. Yeah, um, we got a little chat with us. But... We got a little chat. So, so okay. first of all, I'm a huge pecan pie guy. Are you? Jeez. Wow. Yeah, I love pecan pie. Now, on this pie, pecan pie, are you going to heat that? You got to heat that, though. No, no, it's, it's ready. no I'm, I'm going to eat cold pies. Don't worry. You can microwave them, I'm guessing. I'm going to eat cold pies. Don't worry about it. So all of these ones that actually come sliced yeah, actually come with, like, little little paper dividers on them. So it's easy for you to – it's pre-cut. We talk about labor issues. We, call it, we, we talk about lack of skilled workers right now. Well, these are made and these are – you know, I I brought spoons here. I don't know why I brought spoons for goodness sakes. I just eat. So, do so you like pizza or what? Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna eat this like pizza. So, it's not gonna get a wow wow for me right now because it's not filled with pecan. You know how pecan pies are filled with pecans and then mixes. So this is mixed on the bottom as well. So it already, you know, good great wow. So I'm gonna start with good and great. But I'm gonna be honest here, Jay. You know. Well, we have to. That's the thing that oh. Chef hmm. is the truth. You know, delicious, Jay. Yeah, you have a sip of coffee. Yeah, a sip of coffee. This is great. Yes, sir. That was a little chaser. No, it's a little chaser. So consistency is great. I would have loved to have seen more pecans in it, but that was my only issue. Okay. Now, the pie That's crust, Jay, the cool pie crust. crust, delicious. Crumbly. You see That's that? Yeah. Crumbly, but it stays in peace when, you're, when, when, when you actually served it, right? Yeah. You know what? I have so many pie seed. I should watch out what I'm eating extra of. So, pecan pie, good, great, wow, good. Yeah, well, were we, you're going good. Yeah, we're starting with good, 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 great. We'll go, we'll go in the middle of good, great on that one. Good. Pecan so, pie, Chef Pierre. Hmm. You know what? Sorry if you're hearing me eat. I apologize. I actually had a little bit of hello, had a little bit of hint of salt actually in there too, which is great. A little bit of like a little enhancer of the salt. Actually, delicious. Really? And of course, the caramelization. Yeah, because because don't forget, Jay. Um, I am I am over here. I apologize. I'm just going to be serving myself some pie here. Salt enhances food, you know. While vinegars and stuff change the flavors. So, look how clean that sucker came out, right? Because again, of these little protective little piece of papers. So, this I love. Look how much blueberry. Remember, it said blueberry, and then this is the lattice finish. So they have that sexy little lattice finish on there. Right? I'm sure if I microwave that, it'll loosen up a little bit, but I'm not going to. Just like Chef John says, I'm not going to. Mmm. Right. Mmm. Yeah. All I taste is beautiful, beautiful. Not too sweet, actually, which is great. At the end of the day, somebody's going to garnish that probably with whipped cream and some other stuff or. That is that is actually really really delicious. That was that was a wow for me, dude. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that sucker. Oh yeah. So this was frozen and I defrosted it overnight in the fridge. That's all I did. And then I opened them up. That's it. So zero labor, zero food cost waste in a way unless your staff is eating it on the side cuz it's so delicious. So that was that, that was awesome. Blueberry flavors, pieces of blueberry. Blueberry is actually the easiest thing to fake, eh? People actually dye apple pieces and then fold it in. So like a lot of cereals and stuff that say blueberry in it is actually dyed apple pieces because it's so much cheaper. So that has pure blueberry in it. Super good, Jay. And that's Super a lot good. of stuff. That's a lot of stuff, Jay. 
See, see, lot of stop. Awesome. So, talk to your Cisco rep about pricing and stuff like that. I don't, I don't have that kind of stuff. But they come pre-sliced. See, it says eight pieces per pie. You know, beautiful packaging. You can sell it in the freezer like this. You can open it up in, in wherever you want. It's got French and English, so of course, being able to sold in Canada. So, amazing product. I would, I, I, I would, uh, I would see that being sold. Say that again. You can sell that as a whole pie or in your restaurant too, right? To take home. You can sell it as a whole pie. Well, I wouldn't serve. Yeah, you can pie per piece. You can sell it. Sorry. You can sell it per piece. You can sell it as a whole pie in the retail store. Uh, you can take it into your food service world as uh, as you would for Cisco and sell it to, um, uh, yeah, per piece or per, per even like, even, you know what? I would, I would, I would take these little pieces of paper out pre sliced because you can, I'm, I'm betting which I'm usually right. I could just take these out, which I would, and then stick it on a buffet, Jay. Apple pie buffets, my friend. Ooh, right? Man. You don't have to individually serve it. I'm pre- I bet you the price point is good enough that you get to serve this as a whole piece. So apple pie again, my friend. I could probably nuke this a little bit just to get a little bit looser. Um, apple pie again, lattice, lattice structure. Ingredient deck starts with apples. That's always a good sign, right? See? Always now, a sign, my friend. less expensive, not as expensive, less co- inexpensive is the word I'm looking at. Inexpensive, Pie. not cheap. We don't talk about cheap. We say no. in- less expensive. Say yeah, cheap. no, the... the, the, the what do you, where would be your main ingredient then sometimes? Water, water. Water? Because, yeah, it would be water, it'd be sugar, it'd be cornstarch, apples. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the filling is mostly water usually, right? But these guys make sure that the filling is mostly apples, right? Or like, or like a glucose kind of filling. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. You can, you can fake apple pies and stuff, tons of glucose, pieces of apple, but then it's not mostly apple. It's mostly glucose and stuff. Right. So this is, uh, this is awesome. So lattice structure again, again, it's already baked for you. You can just, uh, you, you can, you can literally just, you just eat. Sorry. I was just telling somebody to get out of the kitchen very nicely. Uh, <laughs> uh, so apple pie, actually, this is actually pretty. I'll use a spoon, Jay. I apologize. Well, I'm just going to put a shout out, Chef. While you enjoyed that apple pie before we rate it. Uh, if everyone goes over to SaraLeeFrozenBakery.com, there's a food service section mm. over there. You can actually see it. And I'm going to throw it up on the screen here. Mm. At, <laughs> Chef's enjoying it. Mm. And they have all the products listed. They have all the things in food service are listed. Ingredient decks, everything right there for you. So go to SaraLee. Frozenbakery.com. Click on the food service section, and they have. I'm just geeking out over here on this on the website. I'm just going to bring it up, Chef. I'm on the site here. I'm going to share my screen, um, and you, everyone can see that. And uh, there's the website, Chef, right there. Oops, there we go. It's right here. There we go. All the different pies. You got the cobbler there. Got the cobbler list. You you know how much I love good websites and good information, my friend. I well, know Jay. that's explaining you this because look at this. Here's the here's the pie you're having. We could quiz you almost. Six slices, chef. You know each slice is 32 out, 34 ounces. Great. Right. That's what it felt like. And you know what? The picture is pretty that's almost almost exactly what it was. Can you come back? Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I've, already, I've, I've already I've already I've already finished my slice, Jay. I'm gonna start another one. Chef, don't it's tell got my the, wife. It's, it's got the nutritionals there, ingredients, everything, and mm. allergies. Which is great to, to have, right? Jay, we're eating pie. We don't need to talk about nutritionals. I know, I know. We're not. No, no. Eat it. That's a rule. But I just that's, want to make that's sure that's my no. rule. No. Again, good, 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 good website. Listed. Perfect. Good website. We like good websites. That was a wow, Jay. <laughs> forget, forget the one biters. That was delightful. Ah, that was a wow? killing me. Yeah, I have this thing for cinnamon, you know. So apple cinnamon. Oh Come on, man, apple. Crust is – honestly, every single crust has been amazing. The crust is really good, actually. So, which is it, – it's, it's, you know, for a frozen product, Jay, don't forget. It's frozen, right? So, I defrost it overnight, and, like, it still it still has that pie like, crumbly, butter flavory, and, like, it's still, like, crunchy, right? It's not soggy or anything. Awesome. Wow. That's a wow right there. Oh, God, Jay, are you kidding me? Like, that was that was amazing. So, pumpkin pie. So is this the last pie we're doing today? No. So we have three more that I baked. You so these baked? are all the pre-baked ones. These are the, so 
So you, you'll see they, they, they come, say, baked on them. Okay, baked. so that's – you like packaging, and then, Chef. And then, then as some of them say unbaked. So, chef, from a from a junior chef or a young person out there, or inexperienced, all this stuff, that that's big, right? You like that? Oh God, yeah, it's idiot proof. <laughs> I mean, I mean, la- labor proof. I was to say. <laughs> so I like to grab it with my nice serrated knife here. I'm just gonna cut if if you don't mind. I'll just, I'll just cut myself a little piece, Jay. Let's be oh, honest so, here. Um, and you could just go in, chef. No, 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 no. I have. I have lots of lovely staff here that's going to enjoy these pies after I'm done with them, you know? <laughs> so, so my, what are you my, looking for pumpkin pie? Because this is, I've seen a lot of oh. expensive pumpkin pies out there at stores and stuff. Listen, I have a love for pumpkin pies that's not expensive. And <laughs> I need it to be a certain texture and I need it to have a certain flavor and certain crust and stuff. So give me one second. My... My apologies on this. I did not cut it properly because I was so rushed to eating it. It was my fault. So, you know what? can I share you an idea? No. You get yes. It? Oh, yes. Go. Yes. I mean, I mean, go for it, Jay. Absolutely. Share, share the the. So when I found that sometimes when those things happen, or the oh. pie would come, we would do parfait pies, and we would put the par- pie in a parfait cup. That's that's nice. No. <laughs> Yeah. It's, called, right, it's called it's called it, thanks alex it's called oops i dropped my pie exactly. perfect pies. there's actually a michelin star chef that actually does that dessert in italy oops i dropped my pie lemon pie yeah Dre, we, had the, we had the top i don't know what female, to tell you on this we had the top female chef on the show yesterday in the world on the show yesterday you did why well, come i didn't know what the From hell Denmark. it's incredible really it Yes. The hell, man? Yes, Denmark, top chef in the world. Email. You sure? I'm, I'll I'll go watch it. I apologize that I didn't see it. Yes. <clears throat> Jay. Okay. There we go. Where are we going, chef? Pumpkin pie was a wow. Uh, yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, you know what? Great texture, great cinnamon, great nutmeg, great allspice. Okay, oh, pumpkin. Yeah. Was that a really great? So. <clears throat> I did actually. Crust is delicious as well. It's it's yeah. it's, it's almost it's 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 not it's not like it's on the, the the pie pie shell crust, almost like a sh- I wouldn't say shortbread in any way shape or form, but it goes really well with the pumpkin. Love it. So, Jay, I'm gonna be off camera on, for a second anything here. On your pumpkin pie? Do you put anything on your pumpkin pie? Uh, my mouth. That's it. <laughs> what is that? So these are the unbaked ones. So I baked them. So I actually forget which one is which. So I have. Give us some, <laughs> we'll find. We'll soon oh. find out. So look how look how beautiful they oh. they bake, right? It's like it's like I bake my own pie. So saying that, I, I I literally just went with their instructions of cooking times and everything, and it worked out. But I would I think do an egg wash and some sugar kind gonna... of thing on it to kind of like give it a little caramelizing. Now here's that big. Oh my god, it's like double the, the weight. This is heavy as hell. So that's this is that. that big, that's that big fruit one. It came like double. Yeah, this is massive. And and we'll talk about that soon. So let's let's go into these ones first, if you I don't get, mind. I want, to, I want to see you get into that big apple. That's gonna be. Great. I'm actually that's... yeah. I'm actually I'm actually gonna spoon this one out of it if, 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 if that's okay with you. Oh, because it's super hot. So this is cherry. Oh, you see that? Man, oh. Smell like chef. Just give us some sense. Oh, of smell. look at those cherry. Look at that gonna oozing keep, cherry. Gonna keep a while up there because I know what's going to be. That's yeah, oh, look at it's like whole cherry pieces, eh? You see the steam there, Jay? Mm-hmm. You see that steaming? I'm gonna burn the crap out of my mouth. I love it. <laughs> so they suggest you wait two hours before you eat it. Who the hell can wait two hours before eating a pie? <laughs> anyway, sorry. So sorry for swearing on this kid show. <laughs> so are we mm. gonna go? Mm. Are we gonna? Where are we gonna go? Just keep, just keep it up. Wow! Oh yeah, just keep it. Wow, that's great. It's warm cherry yeah. pie. What do you want? You got mm. chunks of cherries in there. That's all I have, that's, man. It's all. all, it's, all it's all chunks of cherries. Look at that. It's all chunks of cherries. What are you talking about? Okay, we gotta work. Why you get all the samples? Oh, well, that's Ooh. what I tell you. And 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 you see the pie crust, Jay? Yeah. Beautiful yeah. finish. Beautiful crunch. Beautiful flavor. And again. 
Tell me what's it smell like. Does it smell like a bakery? Smells like cherries. And not so sweet, man. Honestly, this isn't. I could eat that. I won't. I could eat like half of that pie without without it being too sweet, for sure. I'm glad you are enjoying this. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> yeah, this, it's a tough job, Jay, but somebody's got to do it. So, what are you looking for is, here? Tell us from a chef. What are you looking? It's for? a pie. So I know, but what are you looking for in a oh, bake crust? You know, the crust. The, the bake was even. Um, you know, was uh, there, I would say. Say that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, did you say this is gold? Beautiful golden brown. I said the B word. No, the B the brown. Word. Beautiful golden brown. So not not only one of my favorite songs from the Umbrella Academy, but my favorite color as well, golden brown. <laughs> so rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb, my friend. Oh man. Oh, that smell. Oh, look at that strawberry. Oh. Do you see that? Look at the steam. Ah, look at the steam. Oh, again. Apparently, I'm supposed to wait two hours, but it's not going to happen, Jay. Do you put Cool so, Whip in your pie? No. Who, cool Whip? Cool Whip? No, I don't put Cool Whip. Stop emphasizing the H. No, I, 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 I do not, Jay. No, honestly, pies, I go with this, and then I'll put vanilla ice cream on it. That's it. Let's check it. Jay, <laughs> guess what yeah. it tastes like? Guess what I, this tastes like? It tastes like strawberry and rhubarb. Yeah. It's actually not that tart either, so it's actually pretty... Palatable and, and delicious. <laughs> I find rhubarb pie made from scratch is very tart. No, this is, it's usually very tart. And I see pieces of rhubarb. I see whole chunks of strawberry for sure. Yeah. Mm. I need to find a new spoon because I that, ate so that, many pies. Is that over at the top wow? Oh, yeah. The J. I know, I know. It's a, pa- it's a pie that took me five seconds to open. It took the oven 45 minutes to bake. I did nothing. And then I have a beautiful strawberry rhubarb pie that people think I made. If I was unethical and all. But I'm not. Now, this actually looks so sexy. Look at this thing. So this one is a mixture of, this is what they call their. Using two hands? It's actually really heavy. This says it's three pounds, Jay. Three pounds of pie. So this is their high pie. This is their high pie. Very... Look at, very, the very, look at that. So this is okay. rhubarb, strawberry, blackberry, if I if I memorize correctly. Let me see if I memorize correctly. Yep. Apples, rhubarb, strawberry, red raspberries, blackberries. That's a ton of fruit oh, in there. Wow. So so we're gonna grab a plate here. Now we crack you, open to this bad boy. Sell, Talk to me. You can sell this chef. Okay, hey, before you get in there, I got a couple of questions. Oh look at that flakiness. You see that flakiness, dude? Uh, yeah, you see that flakiness? Good. Thank yeah. you. Um, how, so, Jeff, Jeff, I have a question how, for you. How's the coloring on this, Jay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, eh? Chef. This is actually, t- yes, go for it. You you may speak. Sell this as Usually like a, when people want to talk to chef, chef this, I speak. would sell this. Could you <laughs> sell this pie as a sharing, like uh, like dessert for sharing because it's so big? It's massive, yeah. The, the, this would be, and, and, and what I love about this is, you see that massive piece of rhubarb and stuff like that in there? Like massive pieces. Dude. This is great. And because this was so high, I was actually really worried that it was going to be really hard to actually slice and serve. But it's yeah. not. It's it's like it's, they they kept now, it really chunky and doughy? everything. Doughy because it sometimes happens when you bake big pies. What did you say? Is the bottom right. doughy? Because there's sometimes uh, the let bo- me let me check. Every everything that I've tasted hasn't been. I've actually yeah. been checking this. This I'm I'm going to tell you. This has had the best. This has had had the best flakiness. It has from, I agree. from yeah, it has yeah, it has for sure. No, bottom's good, my friend. We're let's good. go back. Let's see. Let's mm. see. Enjoy. Bye. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this rhubarb, dude. Yeah, it's so crunchy too. Is it? I love it. Yeah, the rhubarb's actually so crunchy. Three pounds of pie. Three pounds. Oh, you know what? There was like. I swear they coated the rhubarb in a little bit of sugar before they tossed it in because there was like this crunchy little sugar pieces in there. Do you want to enjoy that like the movie Stand By Me? Yeah. <laughs> all, by my, like, all by myself? Exactly. <laughs> Do you want to just have Actually, a moment? you know what? From all the fruit stuff, this has been spectacular. Yeah. This is spectacular. Do you have one better than WoW? No, I don't. Spectacular. <laughs> Jesus. 
good. I'm not religious and all, but this has been spectacular, dude. Yeah, yeah. You want to like have yeah. a moment? Do a moment? If if I if, if I was to choose anyone to like, yeah, I I would actually take that anywhere and bake it and like enjoy the hell out of it. That was that was, that's freaking remarkable. Do you want a moment here? We'll put the thing up. No, there. I'm okay. I'm okay. So that's a wow. Spectacular. So, spectacular. So <laughs> overall, Shapir is a home run on all these. I would oh, yeah. Say. You know what? I, 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 I personally have never had a Chef Pierre pie. Maybe I have, and I've never known it because it's so oh, good. Oh, oh. That's you true. You know what I mean? You know awesome. what I mean? So, awesome. um, yeah, no, I would, I, would, I, would, I would totally say the, the, the high pie for sure, like remarkable. The, the pecan one, I told you, the only problem I had is that I wanted more pecans, but you can't yeah. do that in this world. Though, like Things are expensive. That, that that probably price point for that pie would be astronomical and you wouldn't buy it. A lot of so, pecan pies you see are so thin as well, right? So that's how, oh, that's how probably they get away with it. You sure. know what I mean? So, Chef, I have a question for you because you probably bake pies in your career once. I do. Like, from scratch. I do. My daughter, I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty known for my pie. apple pie. My, my daughter makes pies all the time. She's incredible at it. I have to ask because I know how much time and effort goes into it. Mm. Do restaurants have the time and effort anymore to do pies from scratch? Like it must be hard. Um, no, it's it's hard. Like as a as a restaurant, it'd be super hard for sure. Yeah, it's super hard, right? You you might you you, you might want to do it se- seasonally, but the 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 problem is that pies sometimes are are like you want to buy the whole one and take it somewhere, right? To yeah. serve a pie at a restaurant. It's sometimes looked upon as and uh, not as like high end in a way, which is ridiculous. Pie, pies are very hard to make, right? Yeah. Like a good pie is hard, 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 hard thing to make. So it's unfortunate with like with the you know with the customers perceive as uh, as a, as a good dessert kind of thing. But uh, like having that apple pie warmed up for me and a little bit of ice cream, I would have no issues with it, right? So, but you can still find apple pie on menus. They've just tweaked it a little bit to be galettes or something like that, right? At the end of the day, it's still a freaking pie, and it still takes as as much effort into it, right? So, I I, uh, I quite enjoy this, man. Thank you for this one. It was delightful. I'll be so, running on sugar for a while now. Thank you. Um, and thank you to C.W. Shasky for this, and Sarah Lee, and uh, yeah, this has been truly delightful. The staff will enjoy some pie today, that's for sure. So, I always have, I thought it'd be a little fun for the new year here, Chef. Oh, sure, sure, sure. History. Sure history where are the roots of pie where do they originate like roots every good thing in this world i bet you it's germany isn't it this is like five i think five century bc fifth oh, century geez. let's let let's go with the birthplace of food and say i'm gonna go with spain no no sorry it was Greece. actually the greeks ah it was the Egypt and Greece. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Third, third time the There you go. They, third they, time they the... Trust me, Greek people know food very well. Greek, you must be Greek. You know, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was diving down the rabbit hole of creme brulee the other day. Do you know where the creme brulee actually comes from, technically? Uh, oh, we're gonna play this back. I mean, okay. Sure, I why have... not? You're gonna you know, ask me. I'm gonna ask you some weird I'm questions. Say it's French, France. Technically, it's from Spain, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. Go down that rabbit hole. The, the, the Spanish have a very similar one too, and they've dated it back before the French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Well, thanks again, Chef, for today's product review. Great stuff. Thanks so much, Ryan, over there, Shasky, and oh, everyone. Geez, this is Chef. You know what? I'm blown away. Ryan, if you want to send me a couple of cases of these, yeah, if no you problem, want to, my friend. <laughs> I mean, if I can enjoy these with Chef, let me know as well. And uh, to everyone else, thanks again. Tune in next Friday. We're doing this again on Restaurant Product Reviews. And to everyone else, enjoy your rest of your day, Chef. Have a good one. And uh, we'll see you guys later. As always, Jay, thank you so much for having us here. You bet. Take care. Take care yourself. Bye.